Okay guys, this is my old Asus G50 VT X6 laptop. Uh, it's been reliable for years and years. I have an X9100 CPU in it. Uh, 750 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Black and an 80 gigabyte uh, Intel uh, X25M G2 SSD. It's a very quick machine. I have the upgraded 17 fin fan uh, versus the 13 fin fan that's stock. Uh, the G50VX G51J laptop that has the same chassis. It uses the 17 fin, so I, I bought that online and put it in the existing heatsink. Moves a bit more, a bit more air, but anyway, so when I upgraded my CPU, um, see if I can get this to focus, maybe. Speed fan. Uh, I used Cool Laboratory Liquid Ultra, uh, thermal, Cool Laboratory Thermo Engineering Liquid Ultra uh, Thermal Compound, and it's, uh, it says it's not safe for aluminum uh, materials. Uh, but anyway, the heatsink is 100% copper. At least it sure looks like it. Uh, just trying to see if I can find that place where it shows that, but I'm sure you can find it on the site when you Google it. Um, but over time, the CPU temperature has become uh, quite erratic. Uh, let me see if I can focus. We'll do a, we'll do a little test. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, um, so I'm going to go and tell Boyens to run Sati at home on not the GPU at all, just the CPU. And then we'll watch these cores rise up immediately. And there's not dust in the machine, I just dusted it all out. So I think there's corrosion happening or some wrap to something. 85, 87, oh boy, 95, and I stop it before it shuts itself off. 54. Up. A little tip with these laptops, this tab, the switch tab thing, is not spring-loaded, whereas this one is. See, spring-loaded, whereas this one is not. So I use a bit of scotch tape to hold it in place, because otherwise... See? Otherwise, the battery, over time, this can open up without you knowing about it, and then, oop, power, power lost. Okay, I have taken off the bottom cover. This is the CPU. I just I made that little mark right on that corner, that little slip. But otherwise, this has been untouched. And CPU heatsink, Northbridge heatsink, Northbridge. Um, from what I can tell so far, it looks like this stuff is kind of dried up. I don't know if it evaporated over time or something. That's my only hunch at this point because there is coverage. There isn't any. I can't see any real uh, no duh corrosion that's happened. I, haven't, I don't see any evidence of that yet. I'll have to wipe this stuff off, clean it up, and see if there's anything weird going on. But it might have just dried up. I don't know how that's possible with this uh, fancy thermal compound, but perhaps it has. So I'll clean this up. Okay, the heat sinks are clean and almost perfect. Northbridge CPU, good enough. New thermal compound applied. Uh, turns out I'm using anti seize lubricant, Permatex 80071. It's uh, designed for, you know, so that bolts won't rust and corrode and be hard to um, loosen in the automotive and other industries. Uh, but it's designed for 870 degrees Celsius. Uh, so hopefully it will never dry up, or if there is anything to ever dry up, I don't think there is. So hopefully the performance will never degrade, it will never get crusty. Um, it probably doesn't have the best thermal properties because it's not designed for thermal conductivity, but uh, it has some metal in it I'm pretty sure, and so we'll see how it works now. Okay, the machine is booted up. Um, I don't think the thermal comp, the, the, the uh, anti-seize lubricant is very good, uh, has very good thermal 
properties. So, uh, well, let's test it anyway. 44 and now 80. Eighty-seven, ninety, ninety-seven, and I'm going to suspend it. Ninety-nine, and now immediately it's back down to fifty-seven. So, anti-seize at least eight zero zero seven one. Don't use it. It's not good enough. Now with with some more cool laboratory liquid engineering liquid ultra. See how that does. Anti-seize doesn't work very well. Okay, after reapplying Cool Laboratories Liquid Ultra Compound, the temperatures are back to normal. It's been crunching for about 10 minutes now, so everything's, the heat sinks gotten nice and hot. Uh, and the temperatures look very acceptable to me. It normally runs this hot. I don't know about the temperature difference between Core 1 and Core 2, uh, but I don't care. It's fine. Uh, so here's the bottom line. Uh, this stuff is good when fresh. It's very good, uh, but guess what? It dries out if you use if you often uh, keep your CPU at this sort of temperature, uh, and it's on most of the time. This compound will wear, will wear out probably after nine months. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.